Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up smart controls in Main Stage 3. So if you start Main Stage, probably the easiest thing to do is just to create either a blank project, but there's also this there's this quick start menu and then there's a keyboard project. So if you create one of those, it will preload a bunch of different patches in here for you, including pianos, organs, basses, and just lots of the other featured sounds that are available in Main Stage. And so uh, what you want to do is when you come here is exit out of performance mode and make the screen just a little bit bigger here. And so what smart controls basically are is they're a common set of controllers that are used by most every patch that comes with main stage in some form or fashion. And so they consist of knobs, they consist of... Um, fader controls and and we'll demonstrate how to do those but the quickest thing to do is to go into your setup choose a patch it can be any of the patches that you'd like um, and then once you've chosen the patch you'll see the controls over here in the smart controls panel that you can set the controls on so you click on one of your controls you'd like to assign and click assign and map and then in my case I'm going to use these eight encoder knobs that I have here and I'll start with the top left as number one and just move it until you see it moving the control on screen. So you can see that's that one. Then click on the next one that you want. Set that one. And so on and so forth. And so I usually go from left to right with um, whichever controls are on the particular patch I've selected. And I try to put them back, the setting back to where it was to begin with. So this is going to be my fifth control. There you go. And then also reverb control here. And so it's important to like click, then move the control. Click, then move the control. When you're finished with that, just click the sign map to turn that off. And now you'll notice as I play, I can use this first encoder knob to increase the low end in that. I can use the second one, of course, to change the high end. Compression, maybe a little bit of de delay down here. There's the wrong knob. Let's see, that's this one. So you get the idea. So that's basically how that works. Now the unique thing about the smart controls is that once you set them, as I mentioned earlier, they're common controls across multiple of these patches. So now if we just change to another patch, this electric piano patch, let's use the same controls we've already assigned. And if you notice, see, we already have the first one is already controlling the bell. That's why they call them smart controls because you don't have to really assign them to every single patch. They're, once you assign them to one, they're already assigned. So let's do a little tremolo there. So if you can hear that difference. And that's what's going on. Now in this particular case though, if we go from the ambience on over to drive, and I think we um, the bass is assigned. But when we get beyond that, the prior patch didn't have these last two assigned. So let's go ahead and do that same thing we did earlier. Click on chorus assign and match, and I'll turn this guy until we catch hold of that one. And similarly here on reverb. So now we have eight encoder knobs assigned to the smart controls, which is great. And uh, if you just continue down through your patch list, then you'll see this one gets even more complex. So I could install, I could uh, assign more of these if you, um, you know, if you have a controller that has a whole lot more encoder knobs, you can do that. But you can see the first several are already pre-assigned. Okay, so. Um, so that gives you an idea there. So let's do this classic rock organ. So when we go down here, typically the organs have the sustain pedal. It's assigned automatically to the rotary on it. So if you play it like, and then you can hear the rotary kick in on the sustain pedal. So if you can find a patch that has um, fader knobs on it, then you can, or faders on it, then you can go ahead and assign those. And then again, they'll carry over to the other patches. So in this case, there we go, we've assigned that one. Let's go to the next one. And so you get the idea. The key is to find the controls that you would like to assign and then assign them uh, appropriately. So now those are assigned. We can see these. And So 
So you get the idea there. Now these encoders that I had assigned earlier, if you notice, they are actually assigned to the first four rotary knobs there. So then you may ask, well, how can we assign these guys? And these I found are like switches. So if you click assign on those, and on my controller, I'm going to just choose some of these buttons here. You may have to press the button a few times to get it to catch. But So there we assign that button. And similarly here. And then similarly there. So if we want some ambience on this one. So there you go. Now notice here if we look at these switches that we've assigned here to the chorus and such. Now what I do here, if I turn this on and off, you'll notice I'm having to hit the button multiple times. If you have that happening on any of your switch controllers, if you go to the controller, select the controller, and then go down here under, uh, in this case it's vibrato upper, and you'll see a checkbox that says momentary behavior. If you check that, it will make this switch respond correctly. So you can do that to correct that problem if you have that problem. So let's go over here. Similarly here, this one appears to be behaving just fine. And this one has the same problem. So let's set momentary behavior on that one. And there you go. So now they're responding as expected. And um, you can set other things like the ranges, what the saved value is by default when the patch comes up. So that's a useful thing that you can do is there as well there. So let's try that out. No chorus. Give me that kick in and do the there you go okay so I hope you found that useful and uh, have fun with your smart controls thanks